You know what the fuck is going on. What's up? What's up, guys? What's up? We have Kevin Grimstad in the house. You know what you gotta do. You gotta light up these motherfucking joints, these blunts, whatever you got. Whatever you got. I'm not gonna lie. If you got dads, that's be doing that. Oh my gosh. That's be doing that. We got motherfucking Kevin Grimstad in the house. What's this up, is man? episode three of Dope Talk TV. I hope you guys are having a lovely morning. It's a morning for us right now, so we're going with that. I hope you guys are having a lovely morning. Whatever time you're watching this. Yeah. We got Johnny in Okay. There. You know what I'm saying? He going, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to let him do his thing real quick. Yeah. Yeah. We're in the drop top. We in the sparking lot. I tell you, bitch, I'm in the fucking... I don't know. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. 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 I said... That was warm up. I'ma go ahead and put it in the warm cup. Mix it up, smoke it up. Yeah, I put it in the butt. I don't know what the fuck I said. Damn. Yeah, I'm smoking anyway. You know I'm making the bread any type of day. And I'm in dope talk, smoking all the way. And I'm doing all the things that I really say. Hey. Yo. Okay. Nah, that was something light though. Welcome Damn. to the motherfucking episode. Hold of, on, yo! Can we just get a round of applause? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Damn, my boy is bro. snapping right now, yo. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's something like, bro. Nah, nah shout but, out to John, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't really understand. My boy could freestyle, all right? Nah, we just, just messing around right now. He's just chilling. Yo. We're gonna get yeah. some behind the scenes. My brother, day, my brother thinks the, when he's in the stew. <laughs> Watch. Now nah, my brother thinks he can rap now because comment that below. You guys want to see dope talk behind the scenes. I don't I don't know, man. Let's let's put on an instrumental, man, for, for Kevin. Let's see if he can oh, really nah, do it. Bro. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Chill, no, chill. It ain't about it, bro. Hey, 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 guys. I love music, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. We get in there. I don't know. We'll see what's up. Nigga, we made it. Yo. That's for real. That's for real. He said he ain't trying to. You got to try new things. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? I might try something out. Figure something out. Because I love music. Music is definitely part of my soul. Same with John. You know what I'm saying? We out here. So we'll figure something out. (laughs) Anyways. Nah, but what's going on, bro? What's going on with the world right now, bro? I don't know, man. Very interesting. Um, Elon Musk. You know, everybody's going crazy about Elon Musk right now. Owning Twitter and like... That uh, it's mainly about, you know, freedom of speech and all that. But people are just like taking it on a whole nother level. It's very weird. I'm not very sure. What, what, what are your thoughts about it, about Elon Musk, you know, and then especially like bringing back Andrew Tate, like he was banned on all social media platforms. But now Elon Musk is here and unbanning a lot of people like he just unbanned Kanye. Shout out Kanye. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Unbanned, you know, Andrew Tate. Shout out Andrew Tate. You know what I'm saying? And those are just people that are trying to wake up the world and better the world but like a lot of people think they should stay canceled so what are your thoughts on that well you know you know what time it is (laughs) (laughs) technical difficulty guys the fuck man nah but you know what time it is guys nah yeah yo what are we gonna call this segment what do you wanna what do you we never spoke about it what do you wanna call it no, Yo, mean. phone call of the day. I don't know. Dope talk of the day. Something like dope, you guys. Hey, dope conversation of the day. Dope, dope conversation. Day. We're gonna do a call in to anybody random that yep. wants to hop in, give their opinion. So let's go ahead and give Anna a call because she said that uh, she had a little bit it. of opinion on it. Let's all right, get it. We love we love hearing other people's opinions. So if you guys got an interesting uh, opinion about one of our thoughts from pre- previous you know podcasts, you want to call in and talk about it, let us know. Yeah. We're here. We're gonna give her a call right now. Hello? Yo, yo, yo. What's up? Is this Ann? <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? Nothing much. Chilling. How you guys doing? Chilling, chilling. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, it's almost afternoon, motherfucker, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so uh so yeah, we decided to call your ass because you know what? We appreciate you. We appreciate all the support. We just want to shout you out Thank really quick. You, you know, you. You, you've been with us since day one. Even low key, fucking appreciated you during the times of him being on the podcast. And you know, we really appreciate that shit a lot. So, uh, shout out to you. And um, thank yep. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. No problem. Give, Much love. Can you hear this? Hold on. Give me a second. We're still trying to work. 
work on this real quick. <laughs> okay. Can you hear that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. That's, <laughs> funny. that's funny. That's funny. 100, so we appreciate you. That's awesome. Hey, yeah, so- no, I appreciate you guys too. I love your podcast. I mean, honestly, I don't even remember how I started watching your podcast. I think a friend of mine told me about it. And, um, and I started watching it and I was like, yo, this is fucking dope. Like, you know, like I, I you know, you oh, have yeah. really good, um, really good topics and I very relatable. Like a lot of the stuff you guys say, I'm like, yo, that's facts. Like I'm always like, you yeah. know, it's just a good, I agree with a lot of the stuff you guys talk about. And, um, you know, and it's, it's a lot entertaining. That's why I'm like, yo, I got to share these motherfuckers. Like people need to know more about you because you guys are awesome. I love it. Uh, hey, we appreciate yo, you. We appreciate awesome. that. We appreciate that. That's awesome. <laughs> so where are you located? Go ahead and tell the tell the Dope Top family where you're located at. Well, currently I'm in Pennsylvania, um, visiting family for the holidays, but I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Okay. Wow, okay. Oh, okay. Respect. So, Respect. Shout out to Brooklyn. Yep. Yeah. Brooklyn. Brooklyn, all day. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. What's That's up? Fire. So so Kevin had a question, uh question for you really quick. Because we wanted your sure. opinion on this on a on a couple topics actually. Okay. Alrighty. So um, so one of my topics where uh, what are your thoughts about Elon Musk? I don't know if you know about this, but Elon Musk is now owning Twitter. I don't know if you heard about yes. that. Well, what are your thoughts about that? A lot of people are saying that it's you know he's also unbanning like a lot of people that were like canceled basically by the media for what they were saying. Well, but he's bringing them mm-hmm, back. Like, and, but a lot of people are taking it yeah. as like a bad thing. So what are your thoughts on that? Well, I mean, obviously, the elephant in the room is Donald Trump. We all know that. Um, I'm glad that he was unbanned because, you know, people, you know, I mean, I don't really agree. I don't agree with everything Donald Trump says, but, you know, he's very transparent. And when he was president, he was on Twitter. Yeah, he was saying stupid shit and running his mouth. But we knew what was going on in the country. So I honestly think that's what people are the most upset about. Um, I know another one was Andrew Tate, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Andrew Tate. Um, you know, and, and like all these other people are like, Oh, I'm getting off Twitter. Like then go, like who yeah, cares? Yeah, facts, um, facts, you know, facts. I mean, I, I think Elon is a little, um, brash, I guess. Like yeah. he, he's a little, you know, cause he's, he's firing people like crazy. And like people are saying that, um, Twitter is going to tank. Uh, yeah. because of it but um i mean this is right now i feel like he's just cleaning house and he's gonna figure it out later um but yeah i, I really think that people are just pissed because donald trump is back and you know obviously so many people hate him so um but i don't know i mean i'm, I'm kind of on the fence with elon i really don't know what his plans are um you know i like him but i you know on the other side i'm just like what is he really doing so yeah. that, that's the way I'm looking at it right now. Exactly. Yeah. I, you know, that's crazy because I, you know, everything that you're saying, I definitely agree. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's wow. She answered everything correctly. I would have, I would have definitely answered the same way because like my thoughts are exactly the same way. So but, what do you, yeah, what do you, a lot of people. Yeah. And so, mm-hmm. um, go ahead. So, yeah, I mean, a lot of people were talking shit. I mean, DeSantis won in Florida. I don't know if you saw that. Yep. So Good shout, to you, man. You know, yep, shout out to yep. DeSantis. Big dub, big dub. <laughs> you know, everyone hated him, you know, but not everyone. Just just a small percentage of, of Florida. But Yeah, there was a lot of people, actually. Right. There was a lot of people. I wouldn't even say a small... Bro, there was a lot of people... For that, real? Yeah, that didn't even want him to be... Like, yeah, there was, there, was, there was a good amount of people. Just like any, any you know, yeah. any other election, you know, there's a good amount of people for everybody, but, like, there's always that. Do you think that we're going to have yeah. to cheat because they cheated? Do you think that there's going to be a lot I of mean, cheating going on? I just, there was already cheating going on, yeah, you know, I mean, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, and it's not even, they're not even trying to hide it anymore. It's so blatant. It's like right in your face. And, um, you know, I mean, I, I follow, I was following a lot of the uh, midterm election shit and, you know, it was making me angry and, and like anxious, honestly, because, you know, I'm sure you, you know, what's going on in New York and you know how bad the crime is and the yeah. governor's a piece of shit. The mayor, all he does is go clubbing and, and he chills with celebrities. Like he's not even doing his fucking job. And the whole thing with the migrants and, um, you know, it, it was just so apparent what they were doing. And, um, you know, people are always mad when a Republican wins because Republicans have different values. I mean, they're a little bit more toward like Bible shit, which I don't really agree with because I definitely think religion and state should be completely separate. Um, church that's, and state, that's, rather. That's, that's um, pretty that's true. Great. That's pretty true. Yeah, that's yeah I agree, I agree yeah. on that. I agree yeah. on that. Yeah, mm-hmm. 
Right, because this is real world problems. Like the, you know, the Bible was written by some fucking asshole. God knows how long ago, and it's like people are still using that shit as gospel. And it's like it's twenty twenty two. We're we're in the digital age. There's so much shit going on, and it's like the things that are going on right now are completely ludicrous. <laughs> and if, if you know, if God does exist, and you know, I do believe in God, but if He really does exist. And he's looking down on us right now. He's probably like ashamed, honestly. I was, I, <laughs> was, uh, there, I mean, yeah. I was actually watching a video uh, that Andrew Tate was talking, and he was saying that people say that that you know it's actually you know if God was here, like they're saying that it's God is within us, so that there's like a power. Yeah. Like there, when there's that power and motivation, all of a sudden, or when there when there's that power, like you know you know what you want to do throughout your day, and you're gonna get through it. Like that's God, like giving you that power. That God is with us. So God is yeah. like within us. Like so everybody's saying that. So I definitely agree no, with no. that. Like that's something that and see Andrew Tate, like when he posts and so it's nothing like negative, you know, it's, it seems like he's trying to educate a lot of uneducated people. Well, and you know, as usual, just like, um, damn, like, I don't remember his name at the moment. Uh, Kevin, uh, shit, the guy who he passed away not long ago, but he had his podcast about, he was talking about, um, you know, uh, high value men and low yeah, value yeah, women and yeah. Kevin Samuels, Kevin Samuels, Kevin, Kevin and Samuels. like, just yeah, like yeah. him. Right. Now, and you know what? Like as a woman, like, yeah, he, he said some things that I was just like, all right, bro, relax. But, yeah. um, you know, I, as a woman, it's like, you do have to take you, take care of yourself a certain way. And, you know, if you want a high value man, you've got to be a high value woman, period. And that's a lot of the things that Andrew Tate says. And I agree mm -hmm. with it because you can't be so closed minded and you yep. can't be, you know, like on that on that feminist nonsense. Like women have strength, too. We're strong, too. Mm -hmm. And you can't always act like, oh, I'm a poor little woman. And anything that a man says. Is, is wrong like this is from a man's perspective so mm -hmm. you know and that's the problem that people have with Andrew Tate because he says a lot of the same stuff yeah. and they don't like it Not and it's like of, usually I'm, when people don't like it you know yeah <laughs> yeah and a lot of women like I had I had a discussion with this woman the other day she goes oh it's more of Middle Eastern it's like a different culture you know and oh, I was, yeah and, mm -hmm. I, and I was like yeah I mean I get it I mean to a certain extent yeah, yeah but like it's more of traditional ways. Like the traditional ways are being thrown out the window in America. Of course. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, you know, I'm, you know, I'm old school. I'm in my forties. So it's like, I know I'm all about tradition. Like I do like the traditional stuff, but on the flip side, it's like, you know, we're also, again, it's 2022. Like it, it's not 1950 anymore where, you know, you had the little homemaker wife and the husband goes out to work and you have your kids and it's not like that anymore. Like shit now is, is, crazy like it's it's not even close to what it used to be so you kind of just got to roll with things and you have to keep yourself as a human being updated too you know you can't just be you know like have that mindset where you're you're in the past and oh this is how things used to be the good old days those shits yeah. are gone that's in the past you got to chill in the present and and you know make it however you can these days it's crazy yeah stay woke yeah that's for real because yeah. new york and florida are totally two different places Oh, you yeah, know what I mean? Sure. Uh, you ain't sure. fucking kidding. I'm <laughs> I'm surrounded by liberals. It's disgusting. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, like, and it's crazy because there's a lot of them coming down here too. And you know what I mean? Welcome to Florida, but mm -hmm. not really. Fuck you. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. you yeah. Know what I mean? Now they now that's that's what they do. It's like any state that's that's majority Republican, they go to those states and they're going to they're going to vote the way they want to and try to turn it into a blue state. And I think that's bullshit. It's like. I, you know, I don't know. I mean, I have, <laughs> I have a whole bunch of ideas where I'm like, yo, if you're liberal, you shouldn't be allowed in a fucking red state. But that's just my opinion. Um, you know, and this is coming from someone who used to be a Democrat, but I changed that shit back in 2016. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> nah, facts. A lot of people yeah, a lot did. Of, yeah. A lot of people did. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, because you've seen what's going on. It's, it's just... Uh, you know, the, there is no Democrat anymore. It's just the far left. You know, there is no, there's no, the Democrats used to be for the working class. Um, and there isn't even a working class anymore. We're like the working poor down here, <laughs> you know, in New York. It's uh, like the East Coast is just, um, it, it sucks how many states are blue. And it's like, you know, I, I'm glad that I'm seeing people wake up. Um, you know, even in the midterm, the midterms in New York, a lot of Democrats were saying they were voting Republican because they were like, we're, we're not happy with what's going on. This isn't even, you know, it, it, the same values don't exist anymore when it comes to that party. So, um, you know, and I agree with that 100%.
but I don't, I'm not sure if this conversation was supposed to turn political, but it, you know, what happens? What you, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it just flows, you know what I mean? But what do you think is going to happen yeah. in the next couple months? Like, we have like another what two years with Biden <sighs> with Biden right now. I um I don't have a positive outlook on that. You know, I mean, he's clearly just a brain dead puppet, and his strings are being pulled by Pelosi and Schumer and you know all these other people that um you know I mean he can't even make a coherent sentence. He he doesn't even know where he is. I mean he's he's clearly not well. And uh, people were saying that that Trump was was mentally you know, impaired, like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> like, look at the difference. Like, yeah, Trump yeah, had balls. People were scared. Like, it didn't make he sense. had every I mean, other country on lock. He's yeah. Eight, he's 80 mm-hmm. years old. In, in the, yeah. I he, mean, he's still able. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's, he's still... The, what, he's the oldest president? That's what they were saying? I don't I don't know. I think so, yeah. Really? But Trump's yeah. not too far behind him. Yeah, yeah, he's not too... He's not... He's in his 70s himself, like, late 70s. My cousin, and he still yeah. got it. Yeah, it's nah, crazy. It's chilling. crazy. My Trump. cousin, my cousin in Norway, he's like, "Oh wow, great, another old guy running for president." <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, I get yeah, it, but like, yeah. we don't have a choice, though." Yeah, to be honest. right. Unfortunately, it's it's so beyond our control, and that's not the way it's supposed to be. Like, they're yeah. supposed to work for us; we don't work for them. And that's the whole, you know, that's the way it was supposed to be when the government, you know, when government was first formed. And it's like, you know, that's why there's, um, you know, there's certain laws in place, like you know, the whole thing with guns and. You know, they're trying to de-arm everyone. And it's like, listen, you can't take people's guns, period. No matter how hard you try. It's it's in the declaration. You can't, you know, and they're trying to change it, too. Yeah, I know. They're trying really hard. It's it's crazy. Mm-hmm. They want to get out. They want to get a hold of cryptocurrency. They want to get a hold of everything. You know what I'm saying? I believe they already right. have. They're trying to get rid of money. Mm-hmm. They're trying to get rid of paper money. They're trying to get rid of a lot because um, I was reading an article about that, about how they're trying to basically control what we spend our money on. Um, and it's like, uh, you, you know, that's, that's insane. Like, wh- what am I making money for? If you're going to try to tell me what I could spend my money on, if I want to, you know, if I want to order food, I'm going to order food. Or if I want to buy an expensive bag, I'm going to do it. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. And, um, you know, another thing is, is that, um, there's China is actually setting up um, police precincts in a whole bunch of different countries. I know Ireland shut theirs down. Um, the FBI supposedly is um, investigating the one here in Chinatown in New York. Um, and apparently they're coming here to spy on on their citizens that are here. And I'm like, um, that's illegal. <laughs> you're on a, a, you know, this is, this is a sovereign. You can't, you're not allowed to just set up shop wherever you feel like it to spy on your own citizens. If that's the case, tell your fucking citizens to go back to China so you can spy on them there. Like, what the yeah. fuck are they coming here for then, you yeah, know? Yeah, exactly. It's just, um, and I'm not saying not to be hateful at all. Um, it's just the fact that it's like, you know, it, there's a lot of what if we do underhanded that over there? illegal shit, yeah. you know? Oh, they would kill us. Yeah, they would kill us if we... They're if we, if we Oh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're spies, U.S. spies going over to different countries. I bet, I bet you they wouldn't like that shit. You know what I mean? Oh, it's like, absolutely. They would shut that shit down immediately. Exactly. So what the fuck? And you yeah. know, you know what's crazy is that <clears throat> I don't. I feel like the borders too is like super important. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like having the borders out here like super super protected because I mean right now it's it's in shit right now. You know what I'm saying? No mm-hmm. one's going to the borders to to check out all these people that are going through it. I mean they hear cases, horrible right. fucking cases. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like yeah. I mean no one's doing shit about it. You know what happened to the to the abortion shit that everybody was fucking mad about, right? And now, like two right, weeks later right. or like two months later, it's like nothing. No one cares. You, if you care so much about right? it, yeah. you would have been fighting about it till this day. Of course, of course. The day I, I remember the day that whole thing with the abortion happened, and you know, I'm, I work in Midtown, so I'm in like the heart of New York City, where you know, I'm I'm right by Times Square, I'm by Bryant Park. Um, and you know, those areas are always, there's people always, you know, over there talking shit. And there were a bunch of people that were out, you know, bitching about the abortion thing. And, you know, I have my own stance on that, but I'm not going to say, cause you know, people will not be happy to hear what I have to say about it. But, um, you know, that's the thing, the media, we all know that the media will talk about one thing and then to get our focus on something else, we'll talk about another thing. So yeah. They do it on purpose, you know, just to get people's mind off of it so that way they won't fight against it yep. and they'll lose their passion about it. And that's that's what exactly, you know, they're dumbing people down. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Idiocracy, but that's what we're in right now. Yeah. 
I need if you to check haven't that movie seen out. it, please watch it. I, I need to check it watch out. Watch it. I'm actually going to put, that, put because, it right here. Uh, the cover of it, right? Yeah, yeah. put the cover. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, idiocracy. It's, it's a dumbass movie, but I'm telling you right now, that's exactly what our country is. Um, and it's sad because it's basically, you know, like everything is just falling apart. And, um, you know, Biden's whole build back better bullshit. It's like, yeah, okay, our country's falling apart, bro. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> um, you know, so that's why it's like, you know, as someone that's a little older, it's, it really makes me sick because, you know, when we had, um, when Rudy Giuliani was our mayor here in New York, uh, it, our city was amazing. Amazing. It was clean. There was no crime. Like, there's crime. There's always crime, but yeah. not the way it is now. Like, yeah. to the point where they're literally letting people reoffend over and over. They they arrest them. They let them out a half hour later, and they're just doing the same shit that they got arrested for. And that's why there's, the, like, the crime, especially murder. Um, there's a lot of violence going on over here, and it's it's because the Democrats are allowing it. Yeah. And I don't know why people aren't seeing that. It's, you, it's really sick. Yeah. Do you feel like cities like Detroit... And all these, uh, these crazy Chicago, ass, yeah, like all these crazy ass Atlanta. cities. Do you feel like the Democrats yeah. are responsible for that? Oh, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. If if you look at all those cities, they're all run by Democrats. And uh, I mean, look at Florida. You know, I mean, DeSantis is doing a fantastic job. And like I said, there's always going to be crime. There's always going to be shit going on. But you know, the fact of the matter is, is that I feel, especially in in big cities they want to drive people out so the people that aren't the elite the people that aren't super rich they want to drive us out because they want to make their own little i guess like you know elite world over here um and it's it's you know it, it's a build, they're building these huge buildings and stuff and they have the, they have a million reasons for what they're doing yeah. and um you know they're they're using everyone as um you know they're uh, they're basically like Oh, how do I even word this? Um, they're, they're just using us as bait, basically. You know, um, I mean, I'm not afraid to go on the train. I have to go to work every day. I don't have time to be afraid of, of anything. Um, but there, I have seen my share of shit. And I did get into an altercation with one guy who said he was going to smack me. And I was like, so smack me. Go ahead. Let's, you know, it was that kind of thing. And yeah. it's like, I was already having a bad morning. And I was like, yo, if you're going to smack me, you better do it now. Because if you don't, there's going to be a fucking problem. And this lady got it between us, you know, it was crazy, but you really don't know what people are capable of anymore. Damn. And that's the scary thing. That's yeah. the scary part that anybody could pop off at any time for no reason. Um, I mean, if, if you remember, there was that shooting on the train here in April Yeah, and, uh, they just, you know, they got the guy, but it's like, what, like ever since then, that's when they should have said, okay, we, we got to get this under control, but no, they're just letting it go. They're letting it get worse and worse. Um, there's literally murders here every day now, multiple murders every day. It's, it's horrible. So yeah, I definitely think the Democrats are doing it on purpose for sure. Um, and back to when we were talking about the borders, that's another issue because we don't know who's coming here. It could be cartel. It could be sex traffickers, rapists, murderers from other countries that are working for cartels. And, um, you know, that, that's the one problem I have with this open border bullshit that you're just letting people from another country come here. We, we don't know who they are. We have no idea who they are. And, and that's, that's another scary thing because that drives and We already have enough here crime. of our own people that are fucking doing mm-hmm. fucked up shit, to be real. Right, yeah. right. And not to mention our own homeless, a lot of, you know, like there's so many homeless people here, a lot of them that are veterans. And that pisses me off because my dad was a veteran. And, um, you yeah, know, they, it's don't like take I it. see they don't take care. Just, they don't take care of the yeah, veterans. No. They don't. No, they that's, don't. That's one thing I got to say, not. man. They don't. They don't fucking take mm-hmm. care. Of no I just vets. seen. I seen a veteran on the side of the road at an intersection. Like, bro, and I'm no, like how? Like, bro, how? unless they're like complete drug possible? addicts, like complete drug addicts. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They should not be on the fucking street. Yeah, for real. Yeah, I mean, even then, why aren't you getting them off the street and putting them into a program and try to get them clean and get them back to their life? Because you know they fought for this country. They've seen things that no normal human being should ever see. Exactly. And um, it's like they're being thrown away. Like, oh, okay, you fought for our country, now go fuck yourself, and you're on yeah, your own. I mean, yeah, that's, that's sickening. Yep. It really is. Yeah, I mean, even when my dad was alive, like, I had a fight against the VA just for him to get his veterans pension, because they were trying to say that um, he was dishonorably discharged, and I was like, excuse me? My father was not dishonorably discharged. You are fucking dumb. But yeah. they had his name, um, you know, like, mixed up with somebody else. 
Oh, and I said, no. uh, you know, and I, I saw it. Yeah, I was just like, you know, yeah, yeah. Just a number. Disrespect. Mm-hmm. Disrespect. Exactly. You know? Yeah. And um, yeah, but you know what? Like, but at the end of the day, I ended up getting him like $20,000 retro. Wow. He was chilling, you know, and then, then he was getting his check every month like he was supposed to. But, I, but you know, it wasn't like it was a, a hell of a lot of money. But I'm like, yo, this man fought for this country. And he was he was drafted. He was forced to fight, even though wow. he was proud to. Yeah. But this was back in the Vietnam days. Well, you and I'm like, no yo, choice. He, You're he, a man. You're going. Right. Exactly. He didn't even have a choice. So it's like, you know, there's how do you treat your veterans that way, whether it's their choice or not? It's. it's that's the part too that really it fucks me up because I'm like, yo, these are people that are they're free because of them. Well, it's so it's whatever our freedom is now, yeah, it is. It's sick. It's all sick. That's why I'm like, I am very proud to be a Republican right now. Um, I, I don't agree with a lot of the things that are going on, and I really feel that you know those, those same people that keep that same energy. If if you're pissed off about abortion, you should be pissed off about everything else that's going exactly. on, not just what fits your fucking agenda right now. Yeah, exactly, Ooh. exactly. Facts. You know, Facts. say it louder for yeah. the people in the Damn. back, because man, that's, that's crazy. Right, exactly. Mm-hmm. That's on point, that's, right there. Yeah, nobody fights. That's yeah, yeah. It's uh, you know, those of us that believe in that in those type right. of things, we work. So we don't have time to go out there and, and with signs and screaming and shit. We don't have yeah, time to go to City Hall. We don't have time to go to Washington because we work. But those motherfuckers that don't work, they're all like, yeah, abortion and, you know, uh, I, you know, whatever they identify as today. And shut the fuck up. I'm yeah, so sick of it. It's a very weird, <laughs> you know? sick world we live in. And it's, uh, we, yeah. I guess we get to learn the world as we grow with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> sure. Honestly, at this point, <laughs> that's what it seems like. Yeah. Um, but yeah. there's also um there's also rumors about uh, this recession hitting us like after Christmas. And uh, mm-hmm. what are your thoughts about that? They're they're saying that it's worse than the one in World War Two like since World War Two, the recession of World sure. War Two. Yeah. So yeah. how do you think um, that this I is mean, gonna go about? I uh honestly I don't again I don't feel good about it um yeah. because you know if you've been following the news at all um we just gave more money to Russia uh, I'm sorry to the about, Ukraine Yeah I heard about that um, crazy fucking Biden to huh? Ukraine yeah I mean, we've Sky, given man, them billions and billions. This guy's on a fucking road. And it makes you, um, how does yeah, it, make it makes sense, you wonder. Though? How does it make sense? Like, I just want to, I just, right. uh, how does any of this make sense? If we're in debt, right? Right. Oh, yeah. We're severely in debt. Yes. Mm-hmm. How, yeah. are we, how are we giving um, out more money? Well, you know, you really got to think of the bigger picture. Um, where is that money going? What are they doing with it? Um, you know, there was the whole Hunter Biden thing, uh, with his laptop, which they finally put in front of the Supreme Court, I think, recently. Um, so I know that there were dealings going on with Hunter Biden, which, which, um, the president was also involved in. And I think that they're laundering money through Ukraine. Um, that's, that seems to be the general consensus of what the a lot president. of people think. Damn. The president. Um, yeah. 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 You know, I mean, just like 9-11. I feel our, you know, our government was involved in that. I fully feel that COVID was our own government because they're trying to kill us. They're trying to lessen the population. Um, you know, so it's the same thing. Um, you know, we're, we're giving so much money to a war that we have nothing to do with as per usual. And because of that, we are suffering bad. Yeah, um, yeah. you know, cause right now I think we're still in the middle of inflation. Yep. Um, they're saying that I think that because of the inflation, you know, people that were going out shopping yesterday, I'm like, where are they even getting the money to shop? Because yeah, that's, that's, what everything is up. that's what yo, I said. Yo, yeah. my, yo, my mom hit me up. She's like, she's like, what are you doing? I'm, I'm like, talking shit because I spent like 3000 on the computer last night, but Hey, but, hey you know what I mean? Sometimes, 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 sometimes you gotta, sometimes you gotta spoil yourself. You know what I'm saying? But I'm talking mad shit. No, for sure. My mom hits me up. Hey, what are you doing? I'm like, uh, I'm laying down. She's like, you're not going shopping. I'm at Best Buy. They got all these deals. I'm like, no, nah, I'm laying down. <laughs> I'm laying down. Yeah, I'm chilling. Nah, I'm chilling. Yeah, you know, you're letting me you spend your money. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Nah, but hey, uh, we ran out of time because the camera went off. I just want to let you know that we appreciate you. Shout out to okay. Much love. Much love. I appreciate you guys too. Thank you for having me. Yeah, no <laughs> problem. No problem. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you'll see this post today, actually. This was really great. Absolutely. Yeah, great I can't wait. Yeah, yeah, good. Awesome. Thank nice you again. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All have right, guys. Have, have, a, have, have a beautiful have rest a wonderful of your day. weekend. See you. You too. Yes, you too. Bye. Okay, guys. Bye. Bye.